Welcome back to the channel. Over the next two videos, we go through 50 different ways you can start saving money right now. For a little bit of extra motivation, remember what is the potential value of saving an additional $100 every month. If you do manage to consistently save and invest $100 every month, you would end up with roughly a portfolio of $250,000 after 40 years. Throughout the video, you'll notice that I've color-coded each saving strategy depending on the perceived level of effort. So we have green for low effort, a yellow for medium effort, and orange for a higher level of effort. Number one is to cancel unused subscriptions. We are absolutely flooded in subscriptions nowadays. Whether it's music streaming, video games, magazines, newspapers, fitness, wellness, software and productivity tools, streaming service, you name it. Be honest with yourself, how much free time do you really have? Take a hard look at your subscriptions, assess which ones are really bringing you value and cancel the rest. Number two is to pretend to cancel your subscriptions to get better deals. I recently got a 50% off my annual Headspace subscription after only three clicks of my time. And similarly, I also got a 33% discount in one of the magazines that I like to read. Generally, when beginning a subscription, I recommend to set yourself a reminder in the calendar a few days before it's going to expire. When that day arrives, you can then assess whether you want to cancel the subscription if you're not getting your value or to pretend to cancel the subscription to get a discount. Number three is to regularly shop around for better service providers. Once per year, at a predefined date, sit down with information of your insurance, utilities, internet, phone, etc. providers. There are constantly new competitors entering the market offering better deals. Don't leave money on the table. Number four is to shop at thrift stores or their online equivalents for clothing and household items, including furniture. The depreciation cost of most products is staggering. It's not uncommon to see 50% off or more on secondhand products that are as good as new. Pride yourself on being environmentally friendly and appreciate the fact that the product already has a history and has already enjoyed multiple uses. Number five is to use discount apps, coupons and to price compare before making purchases, especially for food and for household items. This is obviously very specific to the country that you live in, so go ahead and do some research into what are the best payback point systems and discount apps out there. Number six is to implement automatic savings through a pay yourself first budget which we covered in a previous video. Implementing a pay yourself first budget ensures prioritizing savings before spending at the very beginning of the month. It fosters good saving habits and helps keep a consistent savings rate, which is the single most important factor for reaching financial independence. Number seven is to avoid investing in actively managed funds. Acknowledge that as a retail investor, the odds are incredibly stacked up against you. It is incredibly difficult to beat the market. Passive investing is by far the best strategy for the vast majority of retail investors. Invest regularly by dollar cost averaging into internationally diversified low cost index funds or ETFs that track them. This simple decision is probably one of the best ones that will have the largest impact on your retirement portfolio in the long run. Number eight is to avoid high expense ratios. Be very careful with the fees that investment funds are charging you for their services and be very, very skeptical of any fee that is above 0.1%. More commonly, it should be around 0.04 or 0.07%. Number nine is to file your tax returns. Although this depends obviously on where you live, in many countries you can get a lot of money back by filing a tax return. This is very, very important. Don't leave money on the table. If you don't want to prepare it yourself, you can hire a tax preparer to do it for you. Number 10 is to consult with a tax advisor. Remember the saying, penny wise, pound foolish. For big ticket items especially, it's always important to talk with a tax advisor. Don't try to save money on this. The tax advisor will save money for you in the long term. Number 11 is to track your expenses. You can't manage what you can't measure. Track your expenses by using one to two hours of your time at the end of every month. Tracking your spending allows you to be more mindful of your finances and to distinguish wants versus needs. Number 12 is to avoid unnecessary insurance. This deserves a completely separate video, but for now it's important that, to avoid insurances for small ticket items, for example for your phone or for other gadgets. In contrast, you absolutely do need insurance for health insurance, life insurance if you have a family, occupational disability insurance, which is very often overlooked, and liability insurance. Number 13 is to watch out for bank account fees and also for interest rates. Compare what different banks are offering. 
Don't throw away money by paying monthly account or credit card fees if other banks are offering a comparable service for free. Also, if for whatever reason you're sitting on a sizable amount of cash that you intend to use in the short term, be sure to compare the different interest rates that different uh, banks are offering in their money market accounts uh, because these tend to vary quite strongly. Number 14 is to avoid late fees. Paying late fees of bills we forget about is not so uncommon. Why not develop a simple system instead? Either we pay the bill on the spot or we file it in a special location and immediately put in a reminder in the calendar of when this bill should be paid. Number 15 is to avoid ATM fees. It's 2024. If your bank is still charging you unreasonable fees at home or while traveling abroad, it may be a perfect chance to reconsider changing your bank. Number 16 is to use the bike. We recently posted a video on the real cost of car ownership and on the opportunity cost of owning a car throughout your entire working career. And I don't want to spoil the video for you, but suffice to say that is a lot more than you probably think. If you live in a big city or in a country with good public transport, owning a car may be a big thing to reconsider. If possible, reduce or drop your car altogether, lead a less stressful and healthier life and reap the financial benefits. Number 17 is to use car sharing instead. In many countries, you now have excellent opportunities for car sharing. I personally use this quite a lot for renting cars and vans nearly every month, almost on a weekly basis now. And by this, you can save a lot of money for, in, compared to car ownership. Number 18 is to plan your errands smartly. If you own a car, it doesn't mean you need to do multiple independent trips every single day. Consider instead your errands on a weekly scale. Try to organize your time and bundle trips to be able to be more efficient with your time and your money. Number 19 is to bundle up in winter. Unless you enjoy wasting money, there really is little reason for wearing a t-shirt around the house in winter. Bundle up instead and enjoy the cozy feeling of that special time of the year. Number 20 is to turn down the heat. Get in the habit of turning down the heat of the rooms that you don't use so often and also of closing the doors as you exit them. Number 21, ventilate rooms regularly. In winter, humidity collects very fast and reduces substantially your energy efficiency. Air the room at least once, better twice per day for between five to 10 minutes. Number 22 is also very easy and it's to turn off the lights. Get in the habit of turning off the lights of the rooms as you exit them. Number 23 is to change your light bulbs to the most efficient ones you can find. Number 24 is to take cold showers. I know, I know, taking cold showers and ice baths is very, very trendy at the moment, but in this case, for good reason. So besides the water and energy savings, you're also exposing yourself to numerous health benefits. Enhanced immunity, reduced inflammation, better metabolism, improved mental health, improved circulation, increased energy and alertness, better sleep, reduced stress, increased testosterone levels, enhanced mental resilience, longevity benefits. It's crazy. Can you think of any other activity in life that, where you can get so many health benefits by just using three minutes of your time? All right, we made it to the end of part one. The reason I cut this video into two is for logistical reasons. I simply didn't have enough time this week to cover all 50 strategies. So please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified for next week is part two with 26 more strategies in the food, health, travel, and more. All right, take care and see you then.